In the far reaches of our solar system beyond Neptune, mysterious forces are at play. Icy objects drift in unusual orbits, defying the pull of known planets. Could this be the work of a hidden giant, a yet-to-be-discovered Planet Nine? First proposed in 2016, this elusive planet has intrigued astronomers worldwide. The unusual clustering of distant icy bodies suggests a gravitational influence from an unseen behemoth. If Planet Nine exists, it might be ten times Earth's mass, orbiting far from the Sun. What evidence points to this hidden world? How have mathematicians and astronomers traced its elusive path? And why, with our powerful telescopes, has Planet Nine remained hidden in our cosmic backyard? Today we uncover the secrets of this potential ninth planet, exploring the clues that could rewrite our understanding of the solar system. To truly grasp the intrigue surrounding the potential existence of Planet Nine, we need to rewind the clock and look at how we've discovered distant planets in our solar system before. Our journey begins in the early 19th century with the planet Uranus. Discovered by William Herschel in 1781, Uranus presented a puzzle. Its orbit wasn't quite right. Despite accounting for the gravitational influences of known planets, Uranus's path through space was slightly off. It wobbled and deviated in ways that couldn't be explained by the gravitational forces of its neighbors. Enter Urbain Le Verrier, a French mathematician with a keen interest in celestial mechanics. In the 1840s, Le Verrier embarked on an ambitious mission to pinpoint the cause of Uranus's orbital anomalies. Independently, British mathematician John Couch Adams was also on the same quest. Both men used the laws of gravitation and complex mathematical calculations to hypothesize the existence of another planet exerting a gravitational pull on Uranus. Le Verrier's predictions were sent to Johann Gottfried Galle at the Berlin Observatory. On the night of September 23, 1846, Galle, aided by Heinrich Louis d'Arrest, pointed his telescope to the region of the sky indicated by Le Verrier. Remarkably, they discovered Neptune almost immediately, within one degree of Le Verrier's predicted position. This was a monumental achievement, a planet discovered through the power of mathematics, unseen by human eyes, until that historic night. Fast forward to the early 20th century. Astronomers still noticed peculiarities in the orbits of Uranus and Neptune that couldn't be entirely accounted for by known planets. Percival Lowell, an American astronomer, hypothesized the existence of a ninth planet, which he called Planet X. Lowell spent years searching for this elusive body, but it wasn't until after his death that his observatory found success. In 1930, Clyde Tombaugh, a young astronomer at the Lowell Observatory in Arizona, continued Lowell's work. Tombaugh used a technique called blink comparison, painstakingly comparing photographs of the night sky taken weeks apart. This method allowed him to spot moving objects against the static background of stars. On February 18, 1930, Tombaugh discovered a faint, distant object. This object was named Pluto, after the Roman god of the underworld, thanks to the suggestion of an 11-year-old girl named Venetia Burney. Pluto was celebrated as the ninth planet, although its small size and mass soon raised questions about its ability to account for the observed gravitational anomalies. The discoveries of Neptune and Pluto through mathematical predictions set a precedent for the current search for Planet Nine. Just as astronomers in the past detected gravitational influences that hinted at unseen planets, today's scientists are observing peculiarities in the Kuiper Belt, a region of icy bodies beyond Neptune. The orbits of several distant Kuiper Belt objects appear to be clustered together in a way that suggests the presence of a massive, unseen planet. This clustering hints at a gravitational shepherd, something with substantial mass that influences the orbits of these distant objects. Enter the hypothesis of Planet Nine. In 2016, astronomers Konstantin Batygin and Mike Brown from the California Institute of Technology proposed the existence of this new planet. Using mathematical models and simulations, they suggested that a planet roughly 10 times the mass of Earth, on an elongated orbit taking 10,000 to 20,000 years to complete, could explain the strange orbits of the KBOs. If you're liking the video so far, you should consider subscribing to the channel and help us create better content and reach more explorers out there. Now back to the video. The search for Planet Nine is one of the most captivating quests in modern astronomy. 
Building on the legacy of past planetary discoveries, today's astronomers use cutting-edge technology and advanced mathematical models to hunt for this elusive giant. But what exactly are these methods, and what evidence do we have that Planet 9 might be out there? Astronomers employ a combination of powerful telescopes and sophisticated computer simulations to search for Planet 9. Let's break down these methods to understand how they work together in this astronomical detective story. Modern telescopes are marvels of technology. Instruments like the Subaru Telescope in Hawaii, the Atacama Large Millimeter Submillimeter Array in Chile, and the Wide Field Infrared Survey Explorer have been instrumental in the search for Planet 9. With its large mirror and advanced optics, the Subaru Telescope can capture incredibly detailed images of the night sky. Astronomers use it to scan vast areas of space, looking for faint objects that move against the backdrop of stars. ALMA. This array of radio telescopes can detect the faint thermal emissions from distant, cold objects in the solar system. It's particularly useful for spotting objects far from the sun, where light is scarce, but heat signatures can still be detected. WISE Satellite. This space telescope conducted an all-sky survey in infrared, a wavelength that can reveal objects not visible in optical light. It has helped identify numerous distant celestial bodies and provides data that can be used to infer the presence of Planet 9 indirectly. While telescopes search the sky for direct evidence, computer simulations help astronomers understand the gravitational dynamics that might point to Planet 9's existence. These simulations model the orbits of distant Kuiper Belt objects and test various scenarios to see which best matches observed data. By inputting the positions and velocities of known KBOs into computer models, astronomers can simulate how these objects would behave under different gravitational influences. If the simulations match the observed clustering of KBOs, it suggests a hidden massive planet is guiding their orbits. N-body simulations. These advanced models calculate the gravitational interactions between multiple bodies in the solar system providing a detailed picture of how a potential Planet 9 could affect the motion of other objects over millions of years. Several significant findings have bolstered the case for Planet 9. These discoveries come from analyzing the orbits of distant objects and the peculiar patterns that suggest an unseen gravitational force at work. One of the strongest pieces of evidence for Planet 9 comes from the unusual clustered orbits of several KBOs. These objects have highly elliptical orbits that are tilted relative to the plane of the solar system. More importantly, their orbits are clustered in a way that suggests they are being shepherded by a massive, distant planet. Another intriguing clue is the perihelion alignment of these KBOs, the point in their orbits closest to the Sun. These points are oddly aligned in a similar direction, suggesting that a massive object is exerting a gravitational pull on them keeping their perihelions clustered together. This alignment is statistically unlikely to occur by chance, and is a strong indicator of a distant planet's influence. The presence of Planet 9 could also explain the tilt of the solar system's plane. The solar system's plane is tilted by about 6 degrees relative to the Sun's equator. This tilt is difficult to account for with the current known planets. A distant, massive planet could exert enough torque to gradually tilt the plane of the solar system over billions of years. In addition to observational data, simulations have provided compelling support for Planet 9. Simulations run by Batagin, Brown, and other astronomers show that introducing a ninth planet into the solar system model replicates the observed behavior of distant KBOs much more accurately than models without it. While the evidence for Planet 9 is compelling, finding this elusive world is a monumental challenge. The search is fraught with difficulties, each posing unique obstacles that make direct detection incredibly tough. Let's dive into the four main challenges. First, consider the vast distance at which Planet 9 is thought to reside. Estimates suggest that Planet 9 orbits the Sun at a distance ranging from 400 to 800 astronomical units with 1 AU being the distance from the Earth to the Sun. To put this in perspective, Neptune, the farthest known planet, orbits at about 30 AU. Planet 9 is potentially more than 13 times farther away than Neptune. Imagine trying to spot a dime from a distance of over 2 miles. The sheer distance dilutes the light and makes even large objects faint and difficult to detect. The extreme distance means that Planet 9 receives very little sunlight, making it incredibly dim. 
Even with our most powerful telescopes, detecting such a faint object is like looking for a tiny dark needle in an immense cosmic haystack. Planet Nine's orbit is believed to be highly elliptical, adding another layer of difficulty. Unlike the nearly circular orbits of most planets in our solar system, an elliptical orbit means that Planet Nine spends much of its time far from the Sun, in the darkest reaches of space. When Planet Nine is at its farthest point, aphelion, it's even more challenging to detect due to its extreme distance and dimness. This irregular orbit also means that the planet's speed varies. It moves fastest when it is closest to the Sun, and slows down significantly when it is farthest away. This variation complicates predictions about its exact location at any given time, making it harder for astronomers to know where to look. The combination of distance and elliptical orbit results in an extraordinarily wide search area. Planet Nine could be located in a vast swath of the sky, making it akin to searching for a single grain of sand on a sprawling beach. The vastness of the search area means that astronomers have to systematically scan large portions of the sky, a painstaking and time-consuming process. Even with the advanced capabilities of modern telescopes, this wide search area means that finding Planet Nine is a methodical, slow process. Each section of the sky must be thoroughly examined, with astronomers looking for any signs of a faint moving object. Finally, the slow movement of Planet Nine poses a significant challenge. Given its vast distance from the Sun, Planet Nine is thought to have an orbital period of 10,000 to 20,000 years. This means it moves incredibly slowly across the sky from our perspective on Earth. Similarly, Planet Nine's movement is so slow that it can be difficult to distinguish from background stars and other celestial objects. Detecting this slow movement requires astronomers to take images of the same patch of sky over extended periods, sometimes years apart, and compare them meticulously. As we continue the hunt for Planet Nine, the future holds exciting prospects. With technological advancements and new observatories on the horizon, the potential for discovery is greater than ever. Let's explore the role of future observatories and the cutting-edge technology that could finally reveal Planet Nine, and how these innovations will shape the ongoing quest for knowledge. The next generation of telescopes and observatories promises to revolutionize our understanding of the cosmos, making the search for Planet Nine more feasible. The Vera Rubin Observatory, set to begin operations later this decade in Chile, is one of the most promising tools in the search for Planet Nine. This state-of-the-art observatory features an 8.4-meter telescope, capable of conducting nightly all-sky surveys, which will cover the entire visible sky every few nights. The observatory's wide-field imaging capability will allow astronomers to scan vast areas of the sky quickly and with unprecedented detail. This is crucial for identifying faint, distant objects like Planet Nine. By capturing images of the entire sky repeatedly, the Vera Rubin Observatory can detect slow-moving objects. This will help identify the gradual movement of Planet Nine against the backdrop of stars. Equipped with advanced data processing systems, the observatory can handle the immense amount of data generated from its surveys. Sophisticated algorithms will analyze the data, searching for the subtle signs of Planet Nine's presence. Although primarily designed for studying the early universe, the James Webb Space Telescope can also contribute to the search for Planet Nine. Its powerful infrared capabilities allow it to detect faint heat signatures from distant, cold objects. JWST's sensitivity to infrared light makes it ideal for spotting objects that are too dim to be seen in visible light. This includes distant planets like Planet Nine, which may emit faint thermal radiation. With its high-resolution imaging, JWST can provide detailed observations of regions of the sky where Planet Nine might be lurking, complementing the wide-field surveys of the Vera Rubin Observatory. Other upcoming projects and surveys also hold promise for the discovery of Planet Nine. These include the European Space Agency's Euclid mission. Euclid aims to map the geometry of the dark universe, but its survey data could also help identify distant solar system objects. The Large Synoptic Survey Telescope Similar to the Vera Rubin Observatory, LSST will conduct comprehensive sky surveys, enhancing our ability to spot slow-moving objects like Planet Nine. Ground-based telescopes. Future upgrades to existing ground-based telescopes will further enhance their ability to detect faint, distant objects, making them valuable assets in the search. 
Technological advancements are crucial in overcoming the challenges associated with finding Planet Nine. These innovations will provide astronomers with the tools needed to push the boundaries of discovery. Advances in detector technology will increase the sensitivity of telescopes, allowing them to capture even fainter signals from distant objects. The continued growth of computational power enables more complex simulations and data analyses, crucial for interpreting the vast amounts of data collected by modern telescopes. AI and machine learning algorithms can sift through astronomical data to identify patterns and anomalies, speeding up the search process and improving the accuracy of detections. The search for Planet Nine is not just about finding a new planet, it's about inspiring future generations to pursue science and exploration. It would significantly expand our understanding of the solar system's dynamics and evolution, and challenge existing models, and open new avenues of research. This quest parallels the search for Earth-like exoplanets, such as Proxima b in the Alpha Centauri system, which scientists have identified as a potential Earth 2.0. Proxima b orbits within its star's habitable zone, sparking excitement about the possibility of finding life beyond our solar system. If you're fascinated by the idea of discovering new worlds and the potential for habitable planets, don't miss our video on Proxima b and the exciting prospects of Earth 2.0. Click on the video appearing on your screen to dive into the details of this intriguing exoplanet and what it could mean for our search for life in the universe.